guys, welcome back. Um, as promised, part two of our anniversary week video, story time video. This is my second story time video ever. I'm so excited, guys. Happening, featuring my special, very best guest. Yeah. I wish you guys could see the diva behind the scenes. <laughs> There's no diva. There is a diva behind the scenes. Anyways, so um, now we are going to tell you the story about our first date. I think it's really important because we had a really good first date. Um, there might be some difference of opinions on this story, <laughs> but just listen to my version because it's most likely true. So um, without further ado, <clears throat> let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, our first date, I actually remember the day, was July 6, 2000. <laughs> And 11 wow. and it was a Thursday I remember it was a weekday it was really far from where I lived I didn't expect her to live that far if I, I would have known from the jump then you know it would have been a different story <laughs> I'm glad you laughed at that because you can't even you can't even say that with a straight face but it was really far, uh, but I had, a, had a hectic day. I had to move a whole bunch of stuff around because I had to be there on time. It was a first date. I think I was a couple minutes late. It wasn't you were. Oh, you were no, definitely yeah, I late. late yeah. I had a full-on photo shoot while I waited for you. <laughs> and then her building is weird. It was like, there's like two entrances. And I went to the one entrance, which was all the way on the other side where she lived. So it took her a long time to come out. First to figure out where I was in a building and then she says, no, don't even come looking for the apartment. I'll come to you. And and the time it took her to get to the car, it was like forever. So. Real talk, my apartment to the front of the building is really not that far. I just was wearing really high heels, so I kept <laughs> stopping to take breaks. I figured since he was late, I could take like three, four breaks. So I would walk, take a break, pat my nose because I sweat on my face. And then I would start again, take a break, pat my nose, touch up my lipstick until I finally got to him. But, okay, I have a confession to make. <laughs> I was really nervous about our first date. Not because I was worried about how I was going to be. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't nervous. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. I was nervous at what Elias looked like because I only had met him before in the dark. So <laughs> oh, I forgot kind of what he looked like. So I wasn't sure a week Ooh, later tried it. if he you was tried. cute enough. That I was like promise two weeks. you. It was like two weeks. It wasn't two weeks. It was like a week A week later. It no, was it was a weekend. two weeks. It was like two weeks. It wasn't oh, that. Yeah, yeah, it was that. a minute ago. Okay, so it was like two weeks later. Yeah. from J Okay, yeah. It was two weeks later. And I have forgotten what he looked like, y'all. So I was so nervous. I was like, Dang. Don't act like you weren't stalking my Facebook. I was not. I was not. We weren't even <laughs> friends on social media yet. So this was literally old school. Just I can't even say that's old school. <laughs> old school texting. Like no photos. Like we didn't do all that stuff when we were talking. We would just ask like random questions throughout like the time between like it took him about a week to ask me out on a date. And then we had to go on a date that Thursday because I was going back home to see my family that next morning. So that was literally my only open slot. How about <laughs> when I met Elias, he had on a hat. <laughs> and all the times I met him, he had on a hat. So how about I was extremely <laughs> surprised that he was bald when I met him on our first date. Swear to God, I was so shocked. I was like, dang, he ain't got no <laughs> hair. I remember hat, saying that in my mind. It was a hat fish. Yeah, you I, hat fished me I for sure. <laughs> he hat fished me for sure. Because he looks really good in a hat. And he looks really good without a hat, as you guys can see. But when on first glance, I was like, oh. So he walks up to me. He gives me a hug. And again, he proceeds to kiss me on my cheek. But it was okay that time because we were going on a date. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And I actually got to know him a little bit more. So the cheek kiss was cool. So we get into his car. His car was nice and clean, really fly. I accidentally put my seat warmer on. So I was like, not <laughs> ready for that. But I had to play it cool. <laughs> wait, wait, you got to tell, let him know. I did, I did all the work. I found the spot. I didn't he did. know her area and I found a good spot. 
you know, she told me she was Haitian. So I was like, let me throw a little Caribbean. So I threw Cuban, which is nothing like Haitian food. Uh, but, you know, I thought I was, you know, I was trying to put it in something. The restaurant actually was, yeah, really, was really, really good. good. It was really, really it good. Really, but I found a little Cuban spot that I think you had known about but never been yeah. to it kind of thing. And then I was, you know, I had a good music on. I was playing some Amy Winehouse. She didn't know anything about Amy Winehouse. That's a lie. But I was playing some Amy Winehouse. So, you know, I was, you know, I did my thing. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a good day. We had a great conversation. Mm -hmm. And we... She was telling me, you know, she's really your friend. So she was telling me, making me laugh. And it was just, it, it, it went kind of what what we were going, what we were doing via text. It kind of just, you know, happened, but in person. So can sometimes not work out for some dates. It was really comfortable. Some dates, yeah. Yeah, some, we really dates, comfortable. yeah some, some people, they're cool. They're really good on the phone, even talking. But when they're in person, it kind of doesn't really uh, stack up. So. Okay, so for me, our first date, I was kind of over dating in general. Um, I had just finished healing from a situation. So my first date for me, I kind of just laid it all on the table for him. Like I left nothing out. I kind of gave him my truth and my honesty. And I think that was a breath of fresh air for him because we had really good conversation about that. And I kind of pulled out my repertoire of Haitian jokes. Those are always winners, guys. <laughs> winners every time. You know, now he's used to them so he doesn't laugh as hard. Sometimes I, I, all the time. Sometimes I pull a quick Wally joke on him, but those are really, I keep those in my back pocket just in case. <laughs> But I gave him the good Haitian jokes. I told him about my family, my siblings, my best friend. Um, I felt like I had to tell him about her because we're kind of Velcro. So we came in a package. So it was good that he knew early on <laughs> who she was. Um, we ate really good. He paid for everything, y'all. Didn't ask me to go Dutch. Still do. I would have. Still do. <laughs> he really does. Because I would have left. Got me a good old cab because Uber didn't exist then and went home. I should have been like, uh, can you split the check? <laughs> and he would have been like, uh, she's gone. What happened? <laughs> we get up to leave. I take my food to go because I'm hood like that sometimes. <laughs> um, so, because, you know, you can't really eat like hood. you want to on a first date. But I, I did. went in like... People who know me, I'm a really messy eater, and he got to know that side of me really fast. I told my little plate up. Oh, that food was so good. I was like, Arr! and he was just looking at me, and I was like, oh, Lindsay, maybe you should be a little more classy. But in true Lindsay fashion, I continued on and didn't listen to my second mind. We, he grabbed my hand and we were walking to the car. So he's holding my hand and we're looking at each other. We're talking and he was telling me how much he enjoyed my company. And he looks at me and he pulls me close and bam, that was our first kiss. He lays a good old kiss on me. And the thing about Elias is <laughs> this wasn't a peck. You know, you don't know me like that. So it wasn't like a done he just went in he was that is not a like a win. it was a long kiss this was a kiss like you've been knowing me for like seven months kiss when really you've been knowing me two weeks and he just kept kissing me and i really liked him so i kind of let him kiss me it was cool <laughs> Are you let me i let him kiss me Man, i drove all the way to costa mesa i was gonna get a kiss <laughs> <laughs> that was, I, was, I drove all this way out here I'm gonna give me a kiss. No, but I knew I knew I was gonna I was gonna pull. I'll give her a hard time and say you know she she went in and she made the first move. But I knew what I was doing. <laughs> oh, you finally tell the real story now because he tells people that I kissed him first, which I definitely did not because he was still a stranger to me. <laughs> um, we kind of fell for each other that day. Yeah, it was you know. I, it was, on the way back to your apartment, it wasn't that close. It wasn't that far, so we stayed in the car and we talked some more. I think we talked for a while in the car. Yeah, we and did. Then, uh, and then I took her back to her house. And no, actually, we had a makeout session. That's right. I remember that. And then there was like cop, and we're like, uh oh, we didn't care. <laughs> and then uh, why were we making out? I have no right clue. It was not good. <laughs> Like, I could tell that I was deeply, deeply attracted to him, and he was deeply, deeply right. attracted to me. We weren't lasting very long, I'll tell you that. So, um, 
Uh, he walked me back to my house. And at the time, my mom was living with me. So I introduced him to my mom and my sister. Yeah. And my mom was like, you know, hey, how you doing? She was really nice to him. Yeah. And my sister was too. And, you know, he hugged me and kissed me goodnight. And that was pretty much our first date. Yeah, that was it right there. Yeah, I think... I think your sister opened the door, if I remember correctly, and then your mom was right behind her. Yeah, they were very nosy. They and couldn't then, wait to see. Uh, and then I met your mom, and then it was a good greeting. You know, sometimes you get a greeting from the mother in law, and they give you like the stink eye, or they give you the like the. But yeah, it was she, she you know, likes everybody. Right. That's her problem. Like, see. like we just couldn't stop wanting to be around each other. I think that's, you know, how did you feel about me after our first date? I was I was ready for number number two. I was like I was already looking forward to the next day, uh, and I wasn't even really s considering a second date. I was just like, man, I'm just like looking forward to hanging out again. And uh, I don't I don't remember what we did the second time we met, but I know shortly after that we started dating. Then we went to the fair. We started. Oh, I remember our stuff. second date. Started... It was actually hilarious. Really? And the thing about me, like, we pretty much been together. Since the day we met. Yeah, ever since then. Well, yeah, ever since we started, from the moment that we, that, you know, our first encounter and you know, walked to the car, and then when you gave me your number and those, between the, that two week gap, you know, that's, that's when I had to like, you know, hand out, you know, third, you know, seven day notices, you know, let them know. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> no, yeah. I had to throw that in there, but no, ever since then, we've been keeping in touch. And then from the first day and then beyond and then after that it was just constant communication me going to costa mesa uh and then second date and then third da, 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 and then yeah man yeah we've pretty much been together since the day we met so that was the story about our first date hey guys i hope you guys enjoyed our <laughs> first date video um, we had a really interesting first date but i think our first date was really important for us because i think we fell in love with who the other person was at the time for our first date and we couldn't get enough of each other and i think it's really nice to meet somebody date somebody and find the compatibility early on because then building off of that is actually really nice and a lot easier um i'm not saying there's no hard times you know no relationship is perfect but it's easier to build the love when it starts in love, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of me and more of us. And don't forget to follow us on social media. I will have it in the drop box below. And yeah, till next time. Ciao. Mm -hmm.